and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out, it's free to join. Okay, so let's get into the fun stuff here. So basically we were talking about this possibility yesterday and you know, we were talking about that um, that fact that we could see a move up towards this 28.659 before actually looking for a move down towards this um, box zone here of this 26.904 to this 26.461. So this was ju used just basically looking at this as a bigger um, flat correction within here and basically looking to see whether uh, this could actually be um, flat within here. So this is still viable. You know, there's a couple of ways we can look at this move. Potentially it would still work if we look at our fifth wave up here. And we look at this as an A, a B, and a C to the downside. Um, it, basically, the target range is pretty much the same within this. So we've actually come down into here and we have started to move away. So the key thing here, if we're looking for continuation out of this zone, is to actually maintain this low. If we do maintain this low, potentially we could start to move away and then start to form some additional structure to the upside here. Key area to take if we're looking for bullish potential would be to actually come back above this 28864. Uh, 868 region and we'd want to get back above this high basically until we actually break back above this high we need to be cautious of the fact we could start to see this actually start to break down deeper so we're going to go over a couple of these options so this worked out quite nicely so if you were watching the channel um well done and you didn't if you did were prepared for this this move to the downside um if not maybe it's worth hitting that subscribe button okay so what we were also talking about within here, you know, we're talking about that possibility of looking to break down like this. So where we've got this breakdown now, um, I am still looking for the potential, you know, that this could be a completed move. We did come down to this 50% at this 26.631, and I want to see whether we actually start to get some traction to the upside. So the key thing here is for this to be valid, what I want to see is nice strong price action to follow this move to the upside. Um, basically, we want to see that play out because when if we do have a flat in this zone, basically the corresponding move to the upside should be nice and strong if that is the case. And basically, what we're looking for is that bigger possibility to push up towards a zone of this uh, three three five one nine two, and then looking to actually um, push up higher. So let me just turn that off. So basically, looking for this thirty five one hundred ninety two as a target for this as a third wave, looking for a fourth, and then looking for this fifth wave to the upside. So this is what we're keeping an eye out on here. You know, we want to see this nice strong move to the upside here, but really the, the level we want to cross if we're looking for a bigger impulse here is this 38,750. Until we do so, you know, this could just still be um, a three-wave structure to the upside here, though uh, it would be unlikely by the time we start to break up into this 37,645. We'd still be having to look out for that jump possibility of an additional fourth and fifth even if we do not cross this 1618 but this would be the ideal location that we want to see this third wave come into if we do basically what we'd be looking for would be additional fourth and a fifth up here towards this 43434 to this 40,468 area so this is what we're looking at you know we are talking still about that possibility of uh, this move being a bigger A, B, and a C to the upside, and that would be looking at something like this. So the one to one of that is actually here at the zone of this 31895. We have, however, come up to that area we're talking about as well, the 786, and we have it's been rejected off of this. So it's going to be key to see whether we hold some of these key levels, like this 23,896. Um, and then obviously, if we do move down lower this low of this uh, 19553 range. Basically, if we do push up here, I'm going to be keeping an eye on some of these key uh, fib zones. So we can actually see a 1.618 um, up, up, up the top end here would be towards this zone of this 43163. So if we do continue to push here, you know, potentially we could see this one to one play out. Alternatively, you know, it could come up a little bit higher here towards this 1263 at this 35800. Um, you're going to have to see how it plays out because the problem we have here within this is, you know, we've talked about this in yesterday's video. Basically, we could have a flat here where we see a five wave move starting to break down here. So we need to keep an eye on that. 
Um, this could be also counted as a one, two, one, two, which we're looking at now. Or alternatively, this could be a single five way move into this high. And then we're going to look for deeper retracement lower down, potentially, you know, into some of these lower ranges here, probably between the sort of 29, 21, 908 and the zone here, the higher end would be probably this 23, 6, uh, 8, 8, 6, 8. So that's what I'm keeping an eye out for, you know, if we do start to break down here. Really, until we start to lose the support zone, though, of this uh, 24,810, we need to be cautious because we could still be looking for structure to the upside. So even if this is an ABC like this, you know, potentially we could see a, con a connecting wave here and we see one more low. So if we were to see something like that, basically what we'd be looking at at a um, at a one-to-one -one would be... What am I doing? So I'm going to go off of this current high. One to one would be this 25889, and then lower down this 1618 would be towards this 24806. So this is why it's important to hold this um this key zone here, this 24810. Because if we do start to break down here directly, we'd have to be cautious because this would be starting to push us into that 1618 area. So you know this could actually look to push us um a down lower potentially. You know, we could we could measure just this wave here, and we'll discuss that in a, in a second. But otherwise, you know, it could be looking to actually come back and retest this golden pocket area towards this 25,552 to this 25,409. Um, the 50% would be this 26,000, which would be potentially a retest of this high. Um, and then obviously, if we start to come down here and towards this zone of the 618 um, and further down, you know, we start to get in the range of this um of these previous highs that we've got here at this 25 211. So I'm keeping an eye on that. You know, potentially that would be a 702 retracement. Um Bitcoin does like this number sometimes, so we'll have to see if we get something like this, you know, potentially that could then set us up for a move to the upside. So we'd have to be aware of the more bearish options still. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that off here yeah, for now. So this is the this is the primary um area I'm looking for. We need to be aware, obviously, we can break down, but uh, for as long as we hold support here, we do have that potential to push to the upside. The alternative way we were looking at it is basically looking at whether this whole move up here is a five-wave structure up into these highs, and then we're starting a wave two to the downside here, um, looking for this lower support zone. So I have included this 0 0.382 on here, which would be this 25, uh, 24,657. And what I want to see here within this structure is to see whether we actually start to break down deeper. If we, because we, we discussed this yesterday, you know, we potentially could count this as a diagonal. So maybe, you know, within this, we have a fifth wave that moves up into this high. So we need to be a little bit flexible with this at the moment until it proves itself. This is the thing, so, you know, there's a lot of different counts. We have to wait for the market to show us which one is correct. And basically what we're looking for is to see whether with this option so this option it, it doesn't matter whether we look at this um as a one two uh three into these highs so let me do that again one two three four and five as a extension in the wave one or alternatively whether we are looking at this um even as an a b and a c into these highs or alternatively looking at it in this way where we've got a fourth wave in here and then this is actually our fifth wave. So the only thing about this, which would be a bit peculiar, is the fact that if this was the case, we'd have extension both within the third and the fifth, which can happen. It, it's not um, it's not impossible, but it just becomes less likely. Um, you know, it, it's not something we see a lot. So we just need to be aware of that fact. Basically, we're looking for the support range here. You know, if we do start coming back into the zone here, we don't want to lose this um, 21 one. 9, 1. If we start to lose this zone, it becomes less likely that we're going to hold um, this good structure here, and this could look to actually roll over. So if it does look to break down past this, basically what we're looking for is um, looking for support lower down here in the zone of this 20,757 to the 17,104. Uh, delete that other box by mistake. If, however, this whole move in its entirety is a five wave move to the upside here. You know, potentially that support range is slightly different. Um, and we'd be looking at, let me just remove that 302. We'd be looking at this range here, basically from this 20,941, which would be actually coming back into these levels here, um, all the way down to the swords of 17582. So this would be if we are looking at this move as a one, two, three, 
four and five completed and then looking for that support range however you know we could also still argue that this is an a a b and then we're going to get a c here uh, we'll have to keep an eye on how this move plays out to the downside if we do get something like that you know potentially we could be moving back into these lows anyway so this is these areas are going to be pretty much the same as key support ranges you know obviously we've got we've got structure in this area that we could potentially look to come back and retest again uh, and basically then see if we look to move away this um this high of this 25211 as well that's going to be a key zone if we retest this find support potentially it could be bullish and we could see this move away from this area so that's what we're going to be keeping an eye on as we move to the downside here. So within this, basically, uh, this this is both of these support zones are pretty much they're not quite the same, but you know they're within that within the range. Um, basically, if we start to lose the seventeen one hundred four, though, you know this really starts to stress this, and we could actually be then looking for this as potentially a fourth wave here, or alternatively, this is a, a flat correction as a connector wave. And we could still be looking to push down towards this zone of this 13,397 to this 10,604. But yeah, as long as we maintain these support zones, you know, and these key levels here, this 23,903 and this um, 19,552, we need to be aware that we could still see upside play out here. So I'm going to just come back here into the smaller time frames. Uh, what we were talking about as well with this, I'm just going to go through these. We did this this is basically the same idea flat correction um within there so i just want to discuss something else here so you know we're talking about that connector wave potential um within this move and we have fallen short of this one-to-one -to, -one to the upside looking at this move as a a b and a c we've just fallen short of it at this 50 percent line on this um rejection area if we are looking for um continuation to the upside here what I want to see is a move above this area of this 2836. Uh, 3, 6, 6. If we do start to break above this, you know, it starts to become more likely that, you know, we're going to look to take this high. If we do take this high here, that uh, starts leading us to potentially having good structure for actually continuation to the upside in that uh, more bullish option where we're looking at this move, potentially looking to target out towards this 35154. Um, as a third wave and then looking for a fourth and a fifth up here towards this zone of this uh, of this 37,541 to this 36,046. So this is what we're looking for. You know, we want to see if this level holds here. If it fails, what I would be looking for primarily would be to see whether this 25,993 area holds. If that, if that then... Um, does hold we could see that would be actually a retest of this high pretty much um you know potentially we could start to move away so that would be actually 50 percent retracement at this 26 this 26 and 46 cent um if we start to lose however this 24,794 uh, you know potentially we need to be cautious here because looking at this move like this is an a a b and looking for that possibility of a c wave down you know once we start to push down this zone here this 24969 it uh it starts to become more likely that this entire structure is actually a bit of five way move where this becomes a one two three we'd be then be looking for a fourth wave and potentially a fifth wave to the downside which would put us really close to sort of invalidating these structures here so it's going to be key to see what happens here you know uh we're gonna have to watch how we how we react around this Around this 25211 level, I think that's going to be a very important level when we do move down here. If we blast through it, then potentially, you know, that could be seen as a sign of weakness. Um, losing this 23896 would then make us look for this next um, support zone lower down here between this 23590 to this 21191. Losing that would then make us look to potentially looking for these lower support zones here. So if we're talking about a breakdown, I'm just going to cover this quickly. Uh, it's something I am tracking because of the fact that we could see a C wave down. Potentially, if we are looking to break down, this could then become a 1 and a 2. So we've come to 50%. doesn't mean that it's over. We could see this play out as like this is an A, a B, a C. We come back up here, you know, and then look to reject down. But uh, I'm just looking at that direct rejection. If we do have a direct rejection here and we move down past this zone of this 24301, what I would be looking for then is an additional fourth and a fifth, which could then complete a wave one or a, a wave to the downside. So 
basically what we'd then be looking out for if we do form five wave structure down we need to be cautious um this could then become an a wave or a wave one get a three wave move up fail to break through this 27703 range and then you know look to actually break down deeper and look to target out some of these lower areas here so the key thing here if we do get this play out so i've drawn this up to this 26822 as a 618 retracement um you know if we do start to break down potentially moving down towards this 19658 region we could then have good five way structure which if we look at this um could actually look to bring us into this range here of this 20,757 to this 17,104 again, and potentially even retest this channel. So this is what I'm just keeping an eye out for. You know, we've been talking about this for a while. Uh, there is still this possibility of looking to push down into these ranges here, um, and actually looking to come down towards this 1930 to this uh, 21, 21,249 uh, 21, area. So keep an eye on that basically you know this is still viable until proven otherwise um you know we as long as we keep above these support zones by all means we could remain bullish but once we start to lose some of these key areas you know it starts to become a little bit harder to um argue that bullish standpoint but really until we actually lose 15 4 7 6 you know we do have these support zones still here to possibly uh find support and look to progress up Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video, and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, there are affiliate links for Biomex BT and Bybit down there, both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. Check them out for yourself. If you do not have an account, using the affiliate link does help support the channel, and we do appreciate it. Everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.